Hi everybody, it's Bob Boob the Real Estate Guy. Okay, actually hi, this is Bob Boob the Real Estate Guy. I am so excited here to do this video tour with you. Where I'm at is I'm at 35 Dobler Lane here in Jersey Shore, Pennsylvania. This is uh, what they call Porter Township. But here I'm actually, uh, here I'm facing south. Okay, so over here is east. This way going is west then. So I've got a beautiful southern view here. Now, those of you who know the area, this is called the Achenball Gap. It's a beautiful view where the couple of mountains there separating. Uh, just a nice hollow right there, the Achenball Gap. But here we have a raised ranch, bi-level house. People call it different things, but I just call it a beautiful home. But uh, I'll walk you around the outside here a little bit. The uh, house is pretty neat inside, but if you're not familiar with Jersey Shore, PA, it's a nice little town between Weemsport and Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. We're in uh, Lycoming County, part of the Jersey Shore School District. Oh, matter of fact, there's a school bus over there. Um, the lot size, not quite a half acre, guys. I think I saw it was like 0.4. But you see here in the back, you got, I don't know what the roof is, but that's got a nice architectural shingle on it. Super cool red Jeep is not included with the sale. Of course, here you have this yard area here. Nice deck here in the back. That big 200 amp service over here. Of course, you got central air, so that's the compressor unit or whatever they call that. This is a solar powered dryer right there. For you young people, that's called a clothesline. Okay, sorry, nothing against you young people. I just like to pick on people, but uh, there's natural gas meter when we got around here on the outside. Man, even the side of the yard where nobody sees has got neat plants and stuff. Owner really takes good care of this property. So, yeah, guys, I think that's the outside. Okay, I'm going to push pause real quick, and then we'll go inside and take a look around. Okay, be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so what I did here is I came back around to the front of the house. I just wanted to show you this view one more time from the Alcambal Gap because I really just just lo love a lot about this house here then. But here I'm looking west over this direction right here. Here I'm looking south then. And, of course, the, there's a neighbor looking at me wondering what in the heck I'm doing here. But here, we're going in the front door. So let me show you how this works. So we come in the front door, and as you can see here, we have a set of steps down, set of steps up, uh, what they call a bi-level. I think what I'll do, let me take you downstairs here first. But uh, as you'll see, home is very, very well taken care of. Let's see, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Let's go left here first. So down here you have the laundry room area, nice work sink a little bit. Matter of fact, oh my God, that's like... That's like granite right there, then. That's the fanciest laundry room countertop I think I've ever seen in my career. I believe this deep freeze here, refrigerator, uh, I'm sorry, freezer, fridge, is also included with the sale. Now here, we have a little, little bathroom down here for your customers to use. Yeah, what's that say? No job is finished until the paperwork is done. But this, this is... Definitely very important life learning. Okay, so then we step into the family room area here. And this is very large room here. Um, let's see here, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. So you're 14 across here by the width of the house, which is what, probably about 28 feet there. So really nice size room. Got the beautiful fireplace here. And I think showed you that natural gas meter out there. I believe that's a gas fireplace there too. So that actually can, uh, yeah, that is a gas fireplace, but just, isn't that beautiful with the brickwork there? And, uh, just spin around here. You know, one of the little trivia facts, see the Eagle there. One of the things that I learned is that American tradition is once you have your home paid off, you can actually put an Eagle a uh, little storage right here underneath the steps. You can put the eagle in the front of your house, and it's kind of way you're displaying that, not bragging your house is paid off, you're just saying, you have to work my tail off, my house is paid off then. So there's Bobby Booby trivia for you. Now, as you can see, the current owner, she has a beauty shop in here. So if you don't want to run a beauty shop, you don't really have to, but you have this bonus room that would either make a beautiful office because you got lots of natural lighting coming in here, you do have a separate door here that you could use. So 
If you have a teenage daughter, do not let her use this as her bedroom. Um, but if you, I guess one of the little, I don't know, what do you want to call it, like a little apartment within the house, this maybe be a good spot to do it then because you've got some plumbing down here. Anyhow, just a bonus area that a lot of homes just don't have this space. And this is a big room here. This is probably a good 10 foot across by, well, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So that's, that's about 20 feet there long. So about 10 by 20 space. Nice space, huh? Okay, so we can continue on here. So here's some of the owner's grandkids as they were young and old. They'd probably be killing me if they knew that I was putting that on the video tour. Okay, so now what we're at, we're still down the lower level here, remember. Matter of fact, let me show you here. This can be slightly confusing. So here's the south end of the house or where the garage comes in. That's why there's two garage doors there. But look at this garage here, people. The floor... This garage is cleaner than a lot of people's kitchens are clean. Um, and I mean that just as a compliment to the owner. It is really nice. Of course, here's that bite out of the garage where they put the walkway to go into the beauty salon area of the house. But pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, so we come in, we pull in the garage, come in here. Now, this is a big open like storage area, utility room area. Very neat. My basement wishes it looked this nice and orderly, but uh, it doesn't. Here we have the gas hot water heater. And then here we have the gas furnace, the central air. Of course, a good realtor would have had that light on to start. I have to get a good realtor. And then here's 200 amp box right there. I was showing you earlier outside there where the service came in. So, yeah, and I think, did I see it was a... A Bryant, uh, that might not be right, guys. I'm sorry, I'm not remembering what the brand is, but um, everything in this house has been well cared for. But big space, so this could be a workout area or a kid's play area or set up a ping pong table or, again, just there's, there's just a lot of extra bonuses here. Oh, look at this. Now, this isn't solar powered, but there's more clothesline. I don't know if she's leaving those or not, but those are actually pretty neat. Save on electricity. Hang your clothes up there. Oh, yeah, I see. See how that? I come across, and they string up on here. So if I was you, I'd put that in a sales contract. I'd say that those non-solar powered, solar powered dryers are to be included with the sale. You follow me on that? Solar, Non-solar powered, solar powered dryer? Okay, let me think, guys. All right, I think that's everything down here on the lower level. Yep. All right, let me push pause, and I'm going to take you guys upstairs. Be right back, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys, now we're upstairs here. Look at this big living room. Isn't this a huge living room? Now, not only is it a big living room, but look at the big window here. Got lots of natural sun sunlight coming in. Got newer windows here. Those are the uh, Flippy Dippy type two. If you, um, that and Flippy Dippy is a professional real estate term. That's how you can push those things in for easy clean. But isn't that really nice? Now, one of the other cool things about, if you come look at this house, the owner usually has candy right here in this dish so i'm gonna have to take a oh those are the dove dove ones are the good ones all right i'm sorry i'm gonna i can eat more of that when we get done recording here so there's the living room here's a beautiful dining room area so you have a separate dining room okay and kind of show you where we're at here that's what the front door is remember we went downstairs there earlier now we came up here and as we come down the hallway got the bedrooms and then here's the, what I'll call the common bath right here. But look at this, this is big vanity area, lots of storage. This is highly unusual. This is very expensive here for people to have done. And that looks like, I don't know if that's Corian or whatnot, but uh, that's a nice countertop there. Shower. Of course, you got the throne. And then here we got some storage in the linen closet. Everything looks really neat and orderly. Okay, so we come in here. We've got a bedroom right here. Closet over closet over there. And then let's peek. I love opening doors. Oh, look at this closet here. Big, big walk-in closet right here. Now, I suppose the idea was um, it one time, too, this could be a small master bath. Matter of fact, I think it was, if I'm remembering this correctly, and then it was converted to the 
walk-in closet. Oh yeah, it was, because look, here's the where the toilet paper roll was there. So I suppose if you would want to switch it back to something like that, you could, but that's how it is currently. All right, let's continue on. Are we having fun, guys? I hope you guys are having fun. This is a nice house to be showing you. If you have any questions on financing, sometimes this price range of a house, people already own another house, and they're not quite sure how to do that whole thing. Like, well, how do I buy until I sell, or how do I sell until I find something to buy? You know, just reach out to me, and I can let you know the different options that are available. Now, as of the recording, oh, here, I'm going to show you two. This is one of the two attics, because you have an attic above the house, and then I think there's an attic above the the garage area too but uh as the recording of this video tour here the owner would like to have possession of the property until the end of may of 2023 we know that's a little unusual but that's the deal here she has uh found a place to move to in the spring so if anybody would like to buy her home she's totally cool with selling it to them so you would do one of two things you would either go ahead and close on it and then we can do like a rent back or we could just postpone closing to the spring depends if you just want to lock in your interest rates or not that's kind of the concern there so if you have any questions on that please reach out to me about that okay you can see look at this kitchen just lots of uh counter space lots of cabinets I believe the appliances are staying here except that refrigerator. I think that she's taken to her new place, but the dishwasher, stove, microwave are included. I'm not sure with this cute little island. Um, I'll have to double check on that. I did try the Hooser cabinet. is not included. Um, isn't that super cool? But uh, Bobby Booby tried. And here we go for there. Let me show you out back here then too, because I did show you coming in from that other perspective, but this is here where we step out onto the little back porch area. Isn't this a really nice area? I call this an outdoor living room. But again, guys, you see, I, I again, I'm really drawn to this southern view that she has right here then, because it's a great place to come out in the morning and have coffee, nighttime have a cold one. Just a really, real, just a lot of neat features in this property. Okay, guys, I'm probably not telling you every super cool thing about this house, but I hope through the video tour and the pictures and the walkthrough, you're getting the feel that this is a really nice home. If this is a home that you'd like to take a little further look at or talk about financing or how you sell your current home to buy it, anything that you want to know about, you know, just give me a call. My name is Bob Boob. I work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. Somewhere at the top of the bottom of the screen here has been the telephone number you reach out anytime that you'd like to. Again, thank you very much for your time and you guys have a great day. It was nice hanging out with you for a little bit. Bye-bye.